Hi everybody, I'm Miss Reyna and today's video is on the review and the weighing of the AWS Gemini 20. It's a portable milligram scale and I got this little gem from Amazon.com for about 16 bucks. So let's open up the package and see what we got. When we open it up, the first thing we're going to see is our little instruction cards and our warranty cards. So we don't really need to focus on that. And here is the scale itself. It comes in a little package. And it's small and compact. It's so small that it's actually about the size of your palm and fingertips. So that's pretty good. And it feels pretty solid, so I kind of like that. It also comes with a weigh tray in a little package here. And this little weigh tray is what you're going to be putting your powdered uh, supplements in. And that will be going on there, and I'll show you later in the video on how to use that. It also comes with two 10-gram collaboration weights. One of them is already printed in the scale and the other one is going to be in the box itself and then if we open up the box some more and we pull these out there comes with a nice pair of stainless steel tweezers for granules and other such things. So that's actually a pretty good bonus for you. Uh, the importance of using a scale, the reason why I like to use a scale is because when you're using supplementation such as in powder form, you know, oftentimes it'll ask you to use measuring spoons and they'll tell you that for today we're going to use taurine and L-tyrosine and vitamin B12. And the taurine says, the dosage on that says it's one eighth teaspoon teaspoon or 500 milligrams and the L-tyrosine is 1 8 teaspoon or 400 milligrams. So if you use a measuring spoon set what you're going to see is that the dash is a 1 8 teaspoon and the smidgen is a 1 32nd. So 1 1 8 teaspoon for a, a taurine is 500 milligrams and 1 8 teaspoon for L-tyrosine is 400. So that's a difference of 100 milligrams and so you're going to find that uh, powdered supplementation weighs differently and if you're going to be accurate and put the right milligram dosage inside the body then what you want is an accurate scale which this scale seems to be pretty accurate so what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to weigh this out doing the uh, supplements with the powders all right so let's turn on the scale you have four buttons right here with the first one being tear the second one being mode the third one being off and the fourth one being on so let's turn it on and you got a nice little blue digital scale or screen and you see it's collaborated all the way to zero and what you want when you're measuring out milligrams is you want the uh, the mode to be on grams so you're going to have four or five separate modes on this one the first one says a G that's grams the second one says ounce which is ounces the second one or the third one says uh, another uh, GN for grain the, uh, the next one says DWT for penny weight and the last one I believe says CT for carrot oh, nope. and there's one more and that one says OZT and that's for troy ounces so you don't want to really concern yourself with any other one other than the one that says gram and so we're going to take our little weigh tray over here and we're going to put it on and you notice that it already adds some weight to it. And so to clear that to make sure that we get an accurate reading for our supplements is you want to make and tear and it resets it back to zero. So you always want to set it back to zero. Okay, so now we are going to weigh out our supplements. And as I said earlier in the video, we are going to take our measuring spoons and kind of show you the reason why we need to weigh our, our supplements compared to just using the spoons. As I said earlier, the dash is about one eighth of a teaspoon. And the first supplement that we're going to weigh out is taurine. And taurine, I believe, is a little bit lighter than the l -tyrosine. So let's take a little scoop out here and get about one eighth teaspoon and if you look at our scale it remember it has to be on grams and you're gonna see four spots you're gonna see one before the decimal point then you're gonna see three after that the ones after that are, are tenths hundreds and thousands the very first zero if, if I can get just oops decided to go off on me there let's see if I can we're gonna wait for a second for it to come back on so the very first zero you're going to see, so it says 0 0.006. So that means it's 6 milligrams. So if it, say, so if it says 500 milligrams, I want it to read 
0 0.500. So right now we're at six milligrams. So I'm gonna dump a bunch on here so this goes a little bit faster. And you can already see how little it is and it's how it's already catching up. So that's almost 300 milligrams right there. And let's weigh out. Okay. And let's, 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 okay. And so we're at 505 right now. And look at how much left we have left in the scooper. So if we were using the measuring spoons, we would already be over probably by about two to 300 milligrams in our dosage. And that's very important when we're using supplements such as vitamin B12, which can cause toxicity to the body at high levels. So we really want to make sure that we weigh out our supplements if we're using pharmaceutical grade compared to the cheap stuff in the store. So we're going to take this, and this is the torn, we're going to add it to a little bit of water. I like to put it in a little cup with a little bit of, sh like a little shot sized water. And now we're going to measure out the L-tyrosine. And of course our scale is back to zero. And this also says 400 milligrams, but 1 8 teaspoon. So again, this says 1 8 teaspoon, but 500 milligrams. This says 1 8 teaspoon, but 400 milligrams. So now, if we look at L-tyrosine, and we weigh this out, L-tyrosine is more of a thick, powdery substance. And so this, I would assume that this is a little bit heavier. And let's see how much it is if it'll come off there without me dropping everything. Okay, so we gotta go to 400. And we're already at 345. Okay, so that's 417. And look at how much left we have in the scooper. So again, this is why it's important to measure out your supplements. So we're gonna put that back because we don't wanna go over the dosage of what's going on. And we're going to take our little supplement and we're going to add it to our little thing of water. Now I'm telling you when you take taurine and L-tyrosine, uh, it's very, it's kind of has like a sour flavor, it kind of tastes like you're drinking a little lemon water. Some of the supplements will taste a little sour, a little bitter, so that's to be expected. The third one we're going to measure out is the vitamin B12. Now this has to be pretty accurate. I mean, you can go a little bit over, but again, in high amounts, unless prescribed by a doctor, this is toxic to the body. So we want to make sure that we get the right amount. And the dosage on this is 100 milligrams to 200 milligrams, which is 1 16th of a teaspoon. So we're going to use one of the smaller ones. We'll use the smidgen because that's 132. And we're going to just start adding just a little bit. So that's really tiny. So let's add some more here. That's only 18 grams. Remember, that's 18. So some of the supplements you're going to have very little. Some of them are going to be a little higher. So let's do 200 to show you what 200 looks like. And let's add up. And this is, this is 100 right now. Let's just drop all that down. Let's grab another scoop. That's 135 milligrams. Let's see. And, okay. So that's 197. All right, there we go, 204. So that's what 204 milligrams of vitamin B12 looks like. And we're just gonna dump it in like so, and then we're done. Again, we're going to take a little shot of water, we'll mix it together, and just, and just mix it together, and down it. It's as simple as that. And like I said, it has a little bit of a sour taste. I like sour, I like lemon water, I drink it all the time, it alkalizes the bottle. And so for me, uh, it doesn't, it's not too bad. But that is how you use the AWS Gemini 20 scale. I really like the scale. It's portable, like I said. It's a very solid scale. It's very accurate. And for 16 bucks, you can't beat it. So uh, I hope you like this review. And uh, if you want to, subscribe to my channel. Thank you for joining us.